super excited because Jeff and I are on our way to go snowmobiling. I'm so psyched. I haven't been snowmobiling since I went on my little brother's snowmobile and he had a sign on the front of it that said snow be beep 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 beep. Um, anyway, so it's going to be super fun. So this is the start of our little snowmobile adventure in Aspen. Jeff and I were actually planning this for the past month and although we went mid-March, this was actually our Valentine's Day celebration as we were not able to be together for Valentine's Day. Um, so here we are, we're just about to start off and I was actually putting my GoPro on Jeff so I could get some footage before. He had rented me my own snowmobile, but I was just feeling super tired from the altitude, so I knew that there was no way that I was going to be the driver of my own snowmobile for, I don't know, like an hour to two hours. Um, I just felt like it was so much better to ride in the back, relax, and check out exactly what was going on. And also, I really didn't want to put anybody at risk because I was feeling really tired and just think you have to be careful but um, the scenery was I mean look at it it is the most amazing gorgeous beautiful part of the country um, and just riding on that snowmobile was the best thing that I can remember doing in so long um, for those of you guys that don't know I grew up in rural New Hampshire my little brother had a snowmobile um, when he was still here, it was something that we really enjoyed doing together, although we didn't have fancy snowmobiles like this and like a gorgeous place like this to snowmobile, um, we still had a lot of fun. So we spent a lot of time driving around and touring through the woods and things like that. We must have been out there for about an hour and we made a little bit of a stop and went to this sort of little ranch if you will I don't even know what it was but there was a mini horse and there were some other animals and that was definitely one of the highlights of the entire trip um, so if you ever do wind up in Aspen um, this tour was the T lazy 7 tour and the guides were so awesome um, we had Matt and Elise and they just had super super nice personalities um elise was awesome she was actually the one that i asked if i could even though we had apparently two snowmobiles reserved which i didn't know i just asked her if we could leave one behind so that i could just ride with jeff so it was a little bit more relaxing and she was super cool about it which is always so nice um because you never really know how it's going to be when you have to ask for something like that so i don't even think we knew it was recording but there you go um <laughs> look at this little tiny trail with the little mini horse um so so super cute um that was an awesome part of the tour and then we hopped back for a few more minutes and we were riding around um but part of the tour is actually that they make you this is so crazy only in aspen um they actually make you a beautiful lunch on the tour so here we are heading up the steps and there is this really really cool um old lodge it has been around since the 60s it used to be really tiny um during covid they actually enlarged that deck they doubled it um they've got drinks outside they have like an amazing view it's like a very cool treehouse um that is the awesome lunch that they made so they actually had a chef making wagyu grass-fed wagyu beef burgers they were so delicious um kind of giving another little tour of the deck and um it was just perfect like i have nothing but good things to say about the entire tour i highly recommend it if you make your way out there and if you don't and you just want to watch the video that's cool too um, I took a quick video after everybody left because I didn't want to intrude on anybody's privacy when they were eating their lunches. Um, and that's Elise. She's so cute. She's kind of like cleaning up after the lunch. And I think this part back here that you see is actually the original part of the lodge. So it was just a little hunting lodge. Um, there's a cool little um, wood stove and the coolest part of this entire place so look at this where it says restroom um 
the restroom has the coolest view I have ever seen. So that's the view out that window. Um, there's just like a huge, huge window in the restroom. Of course, I had to shoot the urinal just so you could see what you're looking at. And then um, walking back to our snowmobiles, getting ready to kind of finish up the tour and check things out. So that was our day. Um, I was very glad that I didn't try to drive the snowmobile. I was exhausted after, but it was just such a high from being out there and everybody was in such a good mood. It was just like the the ultimate highlight. So hope you guys enjoyed my little snowmobile tour. I just decided to do a voiceover because I feel like, I don't know, it's nice to have some context and um, I'm sure I didn't know this was recording, but I still included it. Um, yeah, and here it is, a little shot with my iPhone as well, just so you could see a better perspective. It's not from the front like my GoPro, um, but get yourself on a snowmobile if you can because it is amazing. So anyway, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. Stay healthy, stay beautiful. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and please feel free to comment below. I'm so curious if you guys have ever been snowmobiling, if you enjoyed it, if you would do it again, or if you're thinking about doing it. Um, but just a little bit of my personal journey on, you know, just having fun with my husband. So talk to you guys soon and thank you so much as always for watching.